I'm glad you brought up the uh, the ideas that baseball is trotting out. Um, I understand these are really unusual times and, and drastic measures may need to be taken. But the idea of sequestering players away from families for four months uh, in 105 degree temperatures to yeah. play baseball um, I, seems to me to be counterproductive to what the game is supposed to be all about, which is a kind of a joyful experience in the summertime. Yeah, and the, the fact that we don't know, we're, hopefully this thing is going to end real soon, it, you know, you get, get to the point where it levels off and we can put some kind of an end date on this thing. But, but to think that that you don't know, and you're talking about 900 players being sequestered out there. Um, the odds of somebody getting really sick, and even worse than that, it seems to me you're, you're, asking, you're asking for something like that. We have no idea where this thing's going to go, and I think that even though you're, you're going to be playing games without fans in the stands, that's one thing that the, it's going to be strange to look at. But when you don't know what's happening uh, physically and scientifically and all that stuff, I, I and I love baseball as much as anybody, but as you know, but I, I don't, I'm not ready for this. Yeah, and, and it's hard to tell right now whether this is, uh, these are just sort of brainstorming sessions that, that the league is having and the players are having right now. Um, it, it's, it's hard to imagine that suddenly a certain date is going to come and magically everything is going to be safe enough to go out and play with fans in attendance. So I understand why they're trying to uh, uh, come up with some kind of a, uh, an alternative, but this just doesn't seem to be the one. Now, the, the virus does not know state borders, I don't, I don't believe. I, uh, oh, we're coming up to a new state, we've got to move, get out of the way. So let, <laughs> let me, for those who don't know what we're talking about, there's some talk that uh, MLB season could start as early as, as May or June, and a couple of things they're throwing in, Bud, and I think, uh, you know, if we had hours to do this show, we could prob probably come up with some good, I decent ideas. But they're talking about an electronic strike zone, which would allow the umpire to keep sufficient distance from the catcher and the batter. That's social distancing at its uh, finest. No mound visits for coaches or players. Seven-inning double headers, bringing the season as close to 162 games as possible. And sitting in the empty stands... Oh, all right. I mentioned the dugout, which would be interesting for 40 players, uh, coaches and trainers and all. But they're talking about the players sitting, uh, sitting up in the stands themselves uh, with a couple of seats in between, which would take care of the, uh, the six-foot uh, social distancing. I, I think this is the kind of thing that mad scientists get together and make up stuff. And, uh, and, and some of it may come true. Actually, there might yeah. be some good ideas. That, that will bring that will come out of the game that they might use in, in future years but I, I think this experiment is something I don't want to see at, th at least at this point yeah who, who's going to cover this George Orwell uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me it kind of Nin smacks of yeah of that. 1984 was a long time ago too but uh, like an Isaac Asimov novel or something yeah. you know it's just so what do you do when a ball gets hit in the hole between third and short? Only the shortstop's allowed to go after. <laughs> it's when there's a fly ball to left center. The, when the center fielder is waving you off, he's waving you off. Well, we've certainly seen Indians outfielders who've uh, stood there and let the ball fall six feet between yeah. them. Well, they were practicing social. Box. Yeah, they were practicing show, social distancing before uh, Listen, it, it I, ever became anything. Yeah. I, I know that every commissioner, every league commissioner, every player, every fan, every official is is really kind of, you know, on, on new ground here trying to figure out how to, how to make something out of what, what is a terrible situation. Uh, when I hear Goodell talk about starting the NFL season on time, I have a really hard time imagining 70,000 people uh, uh, going anywhere near a yeah. stadium together. Now, maybe those games are supposed to be played without fans too, but at some point, um, it just kind of loses what sports is all about. And I realize, by the way, when I say that, that sports is all about money for the league and the players and a lot of other people. But um, it's, it's just hard to imagine all of this happening by August or September.